In this video, we're going to learn how to make a simple game of dodging a shark in order to get the key. First, delete the cat. Then, add your first character, that's going to be the shark. We're going to choose the sprite, and find the shark. Use shark 2. Shark is a, quite too big. So I'm going to reduce its size from 100, I'm going to change it to 60. Now I want to have my shark moving. I'm going to go to motion and grab out a move block. Then I'm going to use an if on edge bounce block. After that I'm going to go to control and wrap a forever block around these blocks. Then go to events and get a green flag block. Now when I start my project on the green flag, my shark's going to be moving left and right. And I want him moving up and down, so I need to fix this. To fix this, go to motion and then go to point in direction block. I'm going to drag it and put it under the green flag block. So that means it's only going to happen once as it is outside of the forever block. Instead of it being 90, I'm going to change it to 0. So it's going to be facing forward. Now, when I start my project, my shark's going to be moving up and down. I'm going to add in my crab. My crab is also a bit too big, so I'm going to reduce the size as well, from 100, and I'll also change it to 60. Now I want to have my crab moving left and right whenever I push my left and right arrow keys. I, I need to go to events, and drag out a when a key is being pressed block. And it's going to be, if I push the right arrow, my character is going to move in right. So I need to go back to motion, grab a move block, and I'm going to change this to 30. Then, if I push the left arrow, I want him to move moving left. So I'm going to duplicate this block by right clicking onto it. And then, I'm going to change it to left arrow, and instead of 30, it's going to be negative 30. Let's try out my project. My character is moving left and right. However, nothing's happening when my crab is touching the shark. So that means I need to do this now. To fix this, go back to your shark and then go to control to get an if block. I want to make it so that whenever the shark is touching the crab, you're going to finish the game and you lose. I'm going to go to sensing and use a touching block. Change it from touching mouse corner to the crab. Next, I'm going to add in the sound for us losing. There we go, go back to code, and make have a play sound until done block. Lose, and then I'm going to stop everything. I need to go back to control, and grab out a stop all block. Then I'm going to drag all of this and put it underneath the if on edge bound. There we go, now I'm going to add it in my key that I want to get. There's my key, then moving to the right. I want my key to be vertical, so I'm going to need to go to costume, 
And if I select everything, I can then go on the bottom here and rotate it. There we go. Now I want to make it that whenever my crab touches a key, the game is finishes and I'm going to play a sound. So I need to go back to my crab over here. So I'm going to use a wait until block here. And make it so that it's waiting until it's touching the key. Then I'm going to go to events and I'm going to broadcast a message. I'm going to call this message victory. After that, grab a green flag block and put it on top. Then go to your key, drag out a when I receive victory block. So whenever it receives that message of victory, I'm going to on it or play a sound and end the game. I go to sounds and I'm going to find a nice victory sound. Drag out a sound block, play sound until done, it's going to be win, and then I want to stop everything. Now let's try playing my game. There we go, I've won. Now if I push the green flag again, I want to I've won already, so I need to make it so that when I push the green flag, I want my crab all the way to be oh, on the left over here. In order to do this, I'm going to go back to the crab, go to motion, and use a go to block, and I'll just drag it just under the green flag here. Then I'm going to change the values of x, I'm going to change it to be negative 180, and y value can be 10. I push the green flag, the crab's going to be all the way here to its starting position. Finally, to make this game a bit more difficult, I can duplicate the shark, so there's two. Now, how would you make changes to this game? Give it a go!